the Honourable David Parker, I understand, for five minutes. Correct, Mr Speaker, so I should start. Mr Speaker, um, this uh, bill has been considered under urgency. It's been brought to the House after we're told 12 days of drafting. Uh, because the government has been so ineffective in running in earlier processes that it didn't get to parliamentary drafts people until 12 days ago. And it stands out, obviously, on the form of the bill. Take Clause 7, sir. Who is returning offender? It doesn't even make grammatical sense. Mr Speaker, there will be a number of other mistakes in this bill. Unfortunately, this House has to to uh, deal with an emergency, and we actually agree that given the government's got to this point, it should be dealt with under urgency. But, Mr Speaker, it does deal with the, uh, with, uh, takes away liberties from people. Uh, the, uh, the Attorney General says that those uh, interferences with the liberties of returning criminals are justified, and I think he's probably right. Um, but we can't be sure that that line is drawn in the right place exactly without considering these things carefully. Neither can we be sure that it's going far enough to protect the New Zealand public without these things being considered uh, uh, carefully. Mr Speaker, uh, I thank the Minister for her interactions with the Labor Party and in particular Jacinda Ardern. Um, but it's obvious from those interactions that the form of the bill has been changing substantially in the last day. And yet we're expected to believe that the form of this legislation will be perfect. Mr Speaker, uh, I made a suggestion through um, Jacinda and Andrew Little uh, that we guard against mistakes here by passing two forms of this bill today. One would have a sunset clause which would say that it expired after a year. We said, say a year. If the government came back and said, say two years, we probably could have lived with that. But it should have had a sunset clause, and at the same time, under the same debate, with no more parliamentary time, we offered to cooperate with this at the Business Committee, we said, pass a second version of the bill, identical, except that it would not have a sunset clause, and it would not commence until the date of the sunset clause in the first bill and send that to select committee. And then the select committee could have, starting tomorrow, heard from the Law Society, heard from the victim impact groups, heard from civil society as to where the flaws are in this bill. Because there will be flaws in this bill. Now I say, Amy Adams, why did you not respond positively to that request? The, the Minister, Amy Adams, replied saying, well, we'll have a review after two years. That is not the same thing. That's a review as to, to whether the legislation was working as anticipated. It's not review as now as to whether this legislation is right tomorrow. Mr Speaker, that was a very good offer from the Labor Party as to how you get the balance right between protecting the public, because we might not have properly protected the public in the form of this bill, and how you make sure that you're actually not unduly penalising people post release who shouldn't be, uh, who shouldn't be further um, put upon. Mr Speaker, I cannot understand why the government didn't accept that. F final point I'll make, because I think I'm just about out of my five oh, minutes. You've got a minute and a half yet. I've got a minute and a half left. Why is it, on a bill like this, that has been introduced in such a hurried way, under urgency, that government members aren't taking their allotted time? Why is it that they're not actually taking the trouble to actually read this legislation? They only need to get to, par to clause seven of the bill to find the first obvious grammatical mistake, which is on page four of the bill. It's not a long way to read through it to get that mistake. Why is it that we haven't had uh, a discussion as to how it is that we guard against the risks that we're creating through the urgency motion. My colleague, uh, David Shearer, will take the rest of this five minutes to, to illustrate to the public how lax this government has been in terms of meeting timelines so that we wouldn't be doing this so, uh, in, so, in such an urgent manner. Mr Speaker. The Honourable